Good morning, chefs. Morning, chefs. Good morning, morning chefs. Chef. Every day we throw out imperfect produce, like what we see here. Soft carrots, split tomatoes, and wrinkled cucumbers. We also create additional waste by taking beautiful ingredients and only using a fraction of what they have to offer. In Canada, about $31 billion worth of perfectly good produce is tossed in the garbage every single year. It's crazy. A top chef should know how to create the best taste while generating the least amount of waste. At your stations, you'll each find a platter of identical ingredients. For this quick fire, you must create a Top Chef quality dish using those ingredients. Anything you don't use must be put in your waste bin. You'll be judged on taste and on how little food you waste. Chefs, this is a high stakes quick fire that has never been seen on Top Chef Canada. The winner of this challenge will earn an immunity that can be used once and one time only in any of the next four elimination challenges. I see a little fishy. Potatoes, orange, carrots, carrot leaves. For today's quick fire challenge, we have to make a top chef quality dish while creating the least amount of waste. I pretty much do this in my restaurant every single day. What I do to utilize most out of the fish is take the head, the tail, and all the bones and make a fish broth out of it. Amazing. The vegetables, I don't peel them. I just rinse them on the water, scrape them a little bit. Gonna have some roasted fall vegetables. All the greens, the no-brainer is to do pesto. My bin looks empty. When I worked in the restaurant, I love using all the little trimmings from other stations and creating a dish. I want to do something Filipino. I'm making seared branzino, roasted root veg, and a take on an adobo sauce. There are a bunch of root vegetables with the tops on. I took the tops, slightly wilted them, sweated it with a little bit of orange juice. The waste from the fish became my sauce, seasoned it with orange juice as well. The flavors of the Philippines, pretty much. Oh, this immunity is the only one in the entire season. It's a pretty big deal. I'm using every piece of the fish, every beet top, every peel of the vegetables. You have to remember where it came from and who pulled it out of the ground or who pulled it out of the waters and treat them with respect. Just trying to get a nice fish stock going from the bones, the trim, and the, and the head. I'm doing fish ragu. I am making tomato red pepper emulsion with the fish bones, roast carrots, and radish. I save the carrot stems and all the fish bones and I put it into the bin. And they're like, okay, I'm gonna use it later. One minute left. Oh man. Sure, sure. Three, two, one. Hands up. My dish looks beautiful, but I totally forget. Ah. All the scraps in my bin, I haven't used them. <laughs> Hi, Jenny. Hi, Jenny. Hi. So tell us how you utilize the ingredients. I make fish ragu using the whole oranges and a pencil, and then I serve together. I see you didn't use the bones of the fish. The challenge was to utilize as much as possible and to produce as little waste as possible. OK. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you. Thank cool. you. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, Jenny. OK. Hey, Mark. Hi. So tell us how you used all your ingredients. So I took all the fish scraps, made a stock, and all the trimmings from the vegetables went all in the stock. Pickled stems, roasted veg, and just the seared fish. I dressed the greens with the orange. You didn't use the zest of the orange? Yeah, I was going to say, that's the only thing. <laughs> nice job, Mark. Thank you, Chef. So tell us how you utilized your ingredients. The green in the middle is a puree from uh, all the tops. There's a little bit of sauce, a fish stock, made artichoke vinegar, compressed the radish and the beet, and finished it with a little of the artichoke vinegar as well. It tastes like a tarragon. In the sauce, there's dill and tarragon as well. It's also finished with smoked scallop roe. Mm. Great. Very nice yeah. on the waist bin. Thank you. Thank well you. You JP. seem Hi. pretty comfortable with this challenge. When we walked in initially, I thought something went wrong because there's absolutely <laughs> nothing in here. It feels like that artichoke flew out of the pan in there. Basically fell, fell on the floor, floor and right, I just right, like, right. threw it in. So tell so, us about your dish. So what we got is basically like a wintery take on pot au feu. I just made a fish broth with all the other elements and then I roasted every veg. With all the stems, I did a little pesto. And how do you cook the fish? You sear it and baste it in butter? Or? Uh, exactly. I have a French background. I can't cook without it. We don't want you to go without it. <laughs> Thank you, JP. Ginny, good effort, but the challenge today was about food waste and utilizing that. 
and there was a fair amount of food wasted. Mark, you really embraced the challenge. There was very little waste. I really enjoyed the Filipino flavors. I enjoyed the complexity, and I'm really happy with how things turned out. Awesome. Thank you, Chef. JP, right on the ball, like no waste. I uh, really liked the pesto. I liked how whenever you mix that into the sauce, you created this visual change. You know, you eat with your eyes, and that's very important. I think you did a great job. Thank you very much, Chef. Russ, the complexity of the dish was really great. It was very clean and very enjoyable to eat. I've never seen you cook before, but I can see what your strengths are in that dish. Great job on the challenge. Thank you. The chef who had the best dish of the day is Ross. Nice. <laughs> Congratulations, Ross. Thank you. Yeah, great job. Very good job. As the winner of this quick fire, you have earned a special immunity that you can use once in one of the next four eliminations. That's power. <laughs> <laughs>